welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, Mohammed from Mascal Tech, and today we're going to learn about text properties in CSS. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. So guys, we're right here in the Visual Studio Code, and today we will learn how to use text properties and we're going to learn about all the text properties that we used previously and some new ones so over here I we have a header so this is the header one we'll be using header one we're not going to use header two we're going to use paragraph and we're going to use link so I created a link created a link over here and I'm going to show you how to create one so let me just delete this so to create a link you're going to put a sign and then you're going to type in a space h r e f enter and then you're going to paste the link over here but first if you don't want a link you could just put hashtag and then complete this so hashtag and then let me just type in something over here so let me just type in link over here and then if we open this with live server i already have one open so open with this with live server you see it over here right but if you click it, nothing's gonna happen. So let me try open this, opening this in new tab. So nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna open the same thing. So if you put a hashtag over there, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna stay this. It's gonna still be on that page because a hashtag doesn't take you to another page. But if you put a link in here, so like this, I put a Ada Lovelace Wikipedia link, and let me change this to learn more about Ada Lovelace and then let's go back to our Visual Studio Code and now if I click this it's gonna take me to a different page to Wikipedia right so yeah let's learn more about text properties so guys we're right here in Visual Studio Code and we're going to open up the style.css sheet and we're going to do h1 tag so h1 open and close curly bracket and in, in between we're going to start typing the text property so wait let me just zoom in a little over here so you could see clearly so the first text property we're going to learn about is called text no font size font size so there are a lot of font size you could choose from as you can see over here but it just got I don't know what happened to it yeah as you can see over here there are a lot of font size you could choose from so for right now we're going to go with uh, 70 pixels so let's go ahead and check our live server and as you can see it changed font size over here it changed it grew larger so yeah let's go back and now we're going to learn about font family so for now we're going to use Arial as the font family and there we go we have Arial now let's go check and as you can see over here the font family changed so the text changed now if we if your computer browser don't doesn't have the Arial font what are you going to do so for that you're going to put comma and then you're going to write the thing the font size I mean font family your computer has so you're going to type in I don't know what you guys can have so for now I'm going to type in times new Roman so over here is going to show, show times orange because it's reading times so but it doesn't read Roman it doesn't know what new Roman is so because this text name is three letters three different words we're going to type in the quotation marks for both of them you could type in uh, both uh, double quotes or single quotes it's as you wish it to be and yeah so what it's going to do over here is if you don't have the Arial font in your browser if the browser doesn't recognize it it's going to use the times new roman font so over here it's still going to use Arial because we have it in here okay now we're going to learn about font style so font style and again these 
three are the one we already used previously, but I'm still going over them so it's easy for you guys to understand them. So for font style, there are three different styles. The first one is italic, the second one is bold, and the third one is oblique. And for all these uh, text properties, I will leave a link down below in the description where you can find them. So yeah, for font style, it's going to be first italic, and let's see what it does. So over here, you can see it changes the header to italic. Now the next one is bold. So bold, bold is just going to make the text look thicker, like bold. And then yeah, and the third one is oblique. So oblique. And then oblique is going to make the text look both bold and italic. So it's going to make the text look like a little bit slant and bolded. Yeah, so I'm going to go with bold. Okay, so the next thing we're going to learn about is font weight. So font weight. And over here, you could change the font weight to uh, 100 or 900. So we're going to go with 200. And you can see over here, the font, like the thickness got like a little bit smaller. And if you change it to 900, for example, so 900, it got thicker, it got back to normal, or it got more thicker like that. So I'm going to put it on 900. And the next one we're going to learn about is text align. So we're going to put text align. And there are so many of this, but we're only going to focus on center, left, right, and justify. So first let's type in right and let's see what happens. So right. And then, as you can see, the text will send it all the way to right. And then the next one is left. So, you know what left will do? It will send the text to the left side, back to the normal side. The next one is justify. So, what justify does is that it's going to take the text and put equal spacing between it. Equal spacing between all the text. So, I only have two words over here. So, there's equal spacing between these two. And then the last one is center. These are only the four things we're going to learn about. So the center is going to put it between the page. So in center of the page. Okay. So the next one we're going to talk about is text decoration. But for text decoration, there's actually a problem. It's going to show colors. But you could put anything you want. So actually, if you go all the way up, it's going to show so many, show so many things over here. And if you go down, there are going to be some over there, like it's alphabet order. But yeah, so if you put underline over here, underline, it's going to add underline under the text. And you could do many things with this. So let me put wavy. So wavy. And then it's going to do, I don't know what happened to the text, but it's just going to do something to the text, but it doesn't show. So we're going to just put none to this because we don't want any text decorations on this one. But as you can see over here on the link, it has an underline on it. So if we make a link tab, so A and then the open and close curly bracket. And if we type in text decorations, enter and we put none, the underline is not going to be there anymore. See, as you can see over here, there's no underline over there. But if you do that on your web page, what will people think? If they see the link, they're just going to be like, oh, I think this is just normal text. So you have to, the link should be underlined all the time. So let me just put it back to underline. Underline. So it should be underlined so they could see it and they, they know about it. So it's a link. Okay. The next thing we're going to learn about it is text indent so we're going to put it to 50 50 pixels and then if we go back to our code it's going to move the text right 50 pixels so that's what the indent does you could put it to any number and yeah let me put it back to zero because it looks better like that now we're going to use the text transform a uh, property so over here there are a lot of them so if we use capitalize let's go back it capitalizes the top of the front letters so the starting letters of the text and if we use uppercase if you want it all to be capitalized 
is going to uppercase all the letters. And what if we use, wait, let me see all more. So, text transform, enter. What if we use lowercase? So, lowercase is going to lowercase all the text. And there are more of them. So, if we do none, it's going to put the text back to normal. So, none is going to put it back to normal. So, that's what I want it to be, none. Now, we're going to learn about color. So, color, enter. And then you could choose any color from here. Or you could even type in your own color. So, for now, we're going to go red. Red, enter. And then if you go back, the text has been changed to red. And you could do it to any of them. So now the next one is background color. So background color. This is just going no background color. So this is just going to be for the text background. So background color is going to be black. And then if you go back, you can see over here the background has been changed to black. So as you can see over here, we put the color to red and the background color to black. But if you have a different editor with the editor doesn't take the color name you could just go to google and type in uh, go to the color dot adult dot com over here you could select any color you want so it's going to just take me over here so over here you could just select any colors you like so if i go like with that it's going to show me so many options of colors you could select any color you want so if i want to select red so let me go to red so over here, as you can see, mine is the letter B. You could just copy this code. So let me copy it, copy, and then let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And if I put the code here, it's still going to work. So let me paste it. And don't forget to put the hashtag in front of it. So hashtag, let's go back. Over here, as you can still see, it's still red. So yeah, you could do that instead. Yeah, there are so many ways you can do it. And guys, if you don't understand some of them, I have videos for some of them. I'm going to just put uh, the cards on the top over here. So you could just go check out the videos. Like if I explain, for example, if I explain font size, I will put a tag up there for the lesson that we did on font sizes. So yeah, you could do that. So now we're going to learn about letter spacing. So letter spacing. And then you could put any number over here. For now, I will go with 10 pixels. And then just click it and then you can see over here that there are like pixels 10 pixels space between each letter let me put it to a larger number let's do 50 so it's 100 50 so as you can see it do, you could do that too but for now I'm just going to put it back to zero uh, so it looks normal yeah so you could do that and many more things I haven't made a video on this so this is going to be the video on these one so yeah so now the next one is called word spacing so word spacing so we could set it to anything for now we're going to put it the same 50 pixels and if you go to visual studio code i mean open your live server you can see over here it's a 50 pixel space between two words what if you put it to negative 50 so let's go ahead and check negative 50 if you go there it's going to make the words go into each other so yeah it's going to be kind of like that so let me put it back to zero and then for the next one we're going to be using the paragraph tag so let's make a paragraph tag over here so p and then curly brackets so inside this we're going to type in line height enter and then we're going to type in 25 pixel no 50 pixels so let's go back at 50 pixels and then we're going to change the font size so you guys could see it clearly font size to uh, 45 let's do 45 pixels so it's going to be big and clear so over here you can see lovelace was born on 10 18 15 so yeah over here this is what it's going to do it's going to change the line height to look bigger and then if you change this both to the same thing so 40 I mean 50 it's going to make a huge difference so as you can see both of them is the same thing so yeah this is all you have to learn and there's one more 
text indent again I know if you want to make paragraphs you could just use text indent so for example I'm going to put 50 pixels you could put any number it doesn't really matter it doesn't match so if you want to make a paragraph like thing you could just use this the text indent so yeah guys this is it for today's video make sure to like share subscribe this video and bye I'll see you next time